So it is the last week of the first year of medical school and I thought I'd bring you guys along. I can't believe it's the last week of the first year of medical school. Time just flew by. I'm gonna be a second year medical student in a month. It's just crazy to think that I'm almost a second year medical student. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the last week of the first year. And so the schedule for the week is Memorial Day we have off. I took most of the weekend off. I think my mind is already on summer uh, vacation mode. And so Monday is just catching up. I also have a presentation to do, so I need to like work on that. And Tuesday I have um, class all day. And then I have a leadership Zoom meeting to go to in the evening. Once day I have um, class and that's the day I do my presentation. So Thursday I have my comprehensive test and so it's the four hour long test. I just hope that during this whole um, intercession I've learned more than I think I have and so hopefully my score doesn't go down. And then I have class, then Thursday evening I have a APAMSA meeting and Friday I just have the last exam of the semester which is for our COVID class. Uh, so this is the last week of the first year of medical school and let's see how it goes. Associated with that will also be practicing using PPE. You'll also be picking up at that time the, the PPE that the um, college will be providing for you. Um, masks and um, face shields. Break before class. So three core functions of public health. So the first one is assessment. So this is really where we gather our data and make sure that we, we're looking at accurate information. Hey guys, it's already 6 p.m. and I'm gonna join the leadership um, Zoom meeting. So I am vice president of APAMSA. I'm also an e-board member of the Family Medicine Interest Group. Um, those are my two leadership roles for um, this year, I guess. Um, so I just finished the Zoom meeting um, and they just told us um, some facts about student organizations, how to reach out to them, and how to brainstorm for ideas coming this year because of the whole social distancing. We are a little more limited in what we can do with our organizations and reaching out to the first year medical students because we're gonna be second year medical students. Um, but yeah, so, so that was about two hours long, and now I'm going to prep for tomorrow's class. Good morning guys, I literally woke up 10 minutes ago, brushed my teeth, got ready, and I have class in three minutes. <laughs> I could not fall asleep last night. I, I usually stress out about my presentations um, the night before and then I just talk about it in my head and then I can't fall asleep. Last night I had like two nightmares about uh, BUN and Kriani. So it was just a really, 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 really uh, rough night. Yeah, I have two minutes before class starts and so I will talk to you guys later. Have a good morning. <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, second grade. Okay, done. So, today I'm going to be talking about the Cockcroft Gold formula and chronic kidney disease versus a little bit of um, acute kidney injury, which um, Kevin covered a lot about. We'll uh, agree or strongly agree with that statement, and 11% are uncertain. So, I'm currently in uh, my COVID-19 class and we're just doing some polling questions on our take on the ethical aspects of this pandemic and if we were in the hospital what to do and what our thoughts were. Okay, um, now there's like a long piece of hair right here. I think we could just slowly chop. So I decided to cut my hair and my sister is the hairstylist that she is. It was hard to trust her, but we trust in blood. Blood is thicker than water. Who said that? Duh, you're doing me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Who said 
blood is thicker than water. Was it? We just watched. We watched it. What did we watch? What did we watch? Oh, loving you. Oh, loving you. Was like, blood is thicker than water. I just wanted the ankles to be gone, so I wanted like a straight cut, and I don't even know if it's even, but let's hope it is. Hey guys, it's been a very long day. I'm still in class. Um, I woke up super early, 6 o'clock, um, took my exam. I finished at 12.30, so it's a super long exam. I used every minute of it. Well, it didn't go as well as I thought it would. Um, I feel like I'm at this point where I feel like I know it, but then I'm second guessing myself, or I know it, but I don't know it completely. And so I didn't feel so good after that exam. I just finished cooking and I'm still in class, so we're gonna go back to class. Provide health professionals with uh, the training and the personal protective equipment that will minimize that level of risk. So it is reasonable, it's not unreasonable. We're not asking you. So I finished my last class of my first year in medical school. I get clap. <laughs> and it feels very surreal. Um, yeah. I'm happy. I am, but I didn't do so well on the test, so. <laughs> yeah. But I had my last class today. Um, and then tomorrow I just have to take it. <gasps> you want a movie? <gasps> you want a movie do you want to watch? Do you okay. Celebration? <gasps> do you want. No! Okay. Good morning guys, um, I'm heading into my 8 p.m. sun meeting right now. I just threw a shirt on. I was in the middle of doing my makeup, so I'm just going to go to this meeting. We're going to talk with our advisor um, and see what we're going to do for the year. So that'll be fun. Hey guys, so um, I just got done putting my makeup on. So we're going to go take a picture to celebrate my last day as a first year medical student. <sighs> you look so scary in the back. Because it's dark? Yeah, it's dark. Okay, and yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Okay. Embark on those bushes. Oh my gosh, I was snapping so long. Who are you snapping? I don't know, but they're people. Let's take this picture. Go in here, Mark. Perfect. This is cute. Thanks. I can't see the logos. work. Oh my god, security's coming. We finished taking pictures. Thanks. <laughs> Took like a hundred and I like like two. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping. So let's go. Hey guys, so we're back home. We went grocery shopping and we went home to drop off some ice cream for the kids. Um, it's an ice cream that my sister loves and she wanted it to share with them. And then we're home and I've been sitting on the couch since. It's just crazy to believe that I finished a whole year of med school already. I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, but there's still so much that I need to learn and know and grow as a practicing physician. So it's just crazy that I'm one fourth of a way there. Um, and it's just crazy how second year of med school starts in 
less than four weeks. So I'm so glad that we get a few weeks off to just relax and take a break. Of course, during that time, I feel like I'll need to be reviewing and catching up on a few things that I don't know about yet. So I need to do that. Thanks for hanging out with me during the last week of my first year med school. Um, it's crazy to even say right now that I'm officially done with my first year of med school. Um, it's a dream come true. I'm so grateful to be where I am. and um, It's just crazy. I can't wait for um, the start of second year, but I really, really need the break. So I'm just going to be relaxing during that time. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys next time. Probably when I was second year. <laughs> Bye.